It is the newest addition to the Miami-Dade Police Department. Put your hands in the air, step to the front of your vessel. An $80,000 stealth boat, which will be put to the test. Keep going forward till you hit this bare spot in front of you. Uh, there's, no, uh, there's nothing barrel. Barrels are going in, there's nothing stuff from the barrel. In the war on terror and the assault on our waterways when it comes to illegal dumping here in South Florida. It's an operational boat for the divers to be able to get in and get out of the water easily to do their investigations. It's got a night vision capability, it's got radar, uh, it's got GPS, all of the investigating tools to do what we need to do. We start out in Biscayne Bay, the sun setting. Miami Dade Police says the issue of illegal dumping is a major issue in Miami. Moments before darkness sets in. He's moving. He's moving right to left. So I'm going to back up and see what I see. And we're going to back up all the way we can. Just see what we can. Just away. This is the Miami Dade Police Department. Put your vessel in neutral, Captain. This boat, under the cloak of darkness, is when it is most effective. The drill this evening, spot and arrest a boatload of crooks dumping a harmful substance into the bay. And here's the test. How do you spot these people in the night? Just take a look here. This is the skyline, and now with help of night vision, that is what the skyline looks like. We can see anything that's uh, along the dark shore, if anybody's trying to sneak up. And how crucial is this? Al-Qaeda has struck in the past with suicide bombers on watercrafts. The stealth boat already in use in the port of Miami doing surveillance. Add on to that, South Florida in several months will be the site of the first presidential debate between Senator John Kerry and President Bush at the University of Miami. It is not only the threat on land, but on water, which surrounds South Florida. Rosh Lowe, 7 News.